don't see a, a 12 bar blues as um, uh, a distinct set of changes more than saying staying in A for example playing just A over all the changes that come around so every chord even if it's just three chords in a blues to me is is uh, gives you the possibility of playing out of that chord um, and uh, that's pretty much how I approach playing mm -hmm. over a blues. Really, I treat each one as a, as a as a change or a key change. Really, so when the um, D comes around in in the, in the progression, I'm basically playing in D. Maybe D mixolydian or D major uh, major pentatonic. Um, and the same for the five chord when the E comes. Around. Back to the four, on a, for a, for example, at the end of the verse. Back to the one. So I'm actually changing key with the progression and. Um, what you want to do is not necessarily be jumping around to the next box because the minor pentatonic over the four chord it will work for effect but harmonically it's kind of strange to go so we're trying to not do that we're trying to go something you know to bring out the changes that way and stay nearby if we're up here in a comes the four and we can hear it go back to the one there hopefully uh, a lot of it is just outlining uh, your intentions around the major third is, is the is the area the major third is the make or break thing for the change for for blues uh, or, uh, for me so um if we're playing the changes again an a to a d in a, in a blues <laughs> and then back to the major third of, uh, of A there to lead, it's leading the ears. Into the five there, hitting the major. It's just guiding the ear and it gives it a sense of melody uh, that makes sense of the changes that you're playing over as opposed to uh, purely just blasting that A minor all the time. So it's all about the major thirds for me, really. Um, yeah, I found this kind of uh, sus sound to be um, something that I felt like I could make a kind of a feature of my playing. You know, I'm always looking for a little signature kind of um sound uh, all my favorites you know bb's got that one though so we uh that's his i can't claim that in any way but i've kind of like this um sort of suspended sound that's sort of mixolydian -y with a sus thing and and um uh i kind of try and use it as a flavor as often as possible without it being repetitive to make it sound hopefully noticeably like me um, it also stemmed from, uh, you know, getting into jazzy players and a lot of people were using kind of diminished stuff and that Robin Ford thing of the half step, whole step. But I, again, I sort of decided to leave that to him after a while. I, it, it, that's his. Uh, but I wanted my own kind of way of treating that part of the progression in some ways. So, um, it's, uh, this kind of sound is... <laughs> something that I 
I re- I just really like that sound. <laughs> the uh... um, that little it's like a ninth chord suspended, just suspended ninth or something, and uh, back to the back to the ninth. Uh... It's a little flavour that I favour. <laughs> 